So let's get rid of the the I'll anger. Anything with a single click. Let's see, we do have this. Blade trigger response. I mean it's awesome. Rebounding bullets. It's a railgun shotgun. That's awesome. Unfortunately, none of these have particularly good ranges. Like, that's my one fear here. But yeah, I will definitely agree. It does It does feel like the uh, railguns are significantly better. 500 should be enough? Okay, let's grab the arabesque. Because I think... No, I gotta, I gotta try this one. The Archimedes sounds just so much more fun. Okay, let's, let's try this, and if this is terrible, we'll, we'll bail and switch to a different one. It, it just, it's got 400 range, and, it, it, like, it's just slightly less, and it just seems like way more fun. And we'll find out if it's garbage or not. Otherwise, the other thing I can do for some of these, now that we're starting to get more, um... Now that we're starting to get more money per mission, I could potentially bring along, like, an artillery craft. Just leave it in my, leave it in my inventory and just, like, only use it if I need to shoot something from very far away. That might not be a bad idea. Giant creatures near the pillar. Roger that. What are these pillars, anyway? I am not sure. According to Dr. Mengo's theory, Gargant is the one that packs them. The areas where the pillars appeared match up with where Gargant passed through. So those earthquakes were being triggered by that thing planting those pillars? Yes, according to Dr. Mengo. Okay, well I'm digging these. I mean, it's pretty much just a shotgun. I I've got a I've got a shotgun. I've got a decent shotgun. They exist in this game. They're just shockingly rare. Where's the other one? Oh, there they are. Reload time is still a little long. But, like, I will take whatever. We got them all. There we go. Keep an eye on your surroundings. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Huge signal coming from above. Could this be? No. Oh, come on. Hivecraft above. Repeat, the Hivecraft has appeared above this area. Commander, let's pull back for now. Wait. Retreating now? What would I tell the board? Do the sponsors mean that much to you? I just can't. Fine. Retreat. Lightning deploy immediately. Backup blasts retreat. Hey, there's some light coming from the hive craft. Analyzing now. Dr. Mangan. Ah, the beam is connecting with each pillar. The vast energy stored in the pillars is consolidating. What do these aggressors think they're doing? Recovering monitor. There's a life sign. It's huge. What is that? A monster? A mega giant creature has emerged. No, teleported below the hive craft. Teleported? The pillars must have been storing the energy required to teleport this creature. But that mega giant creature is weakened by the teleport. I see that. 
And Lightning will be here any minute. This is Lightning. Target acquired. All units, initiate attack. Lightning 3, Fox 2. Godspeed. This is Blast Leader. Our attack seems futile. For real? Seriously, that, that thing, like, make it fancier, and this thing probably looks like it would fit in Pacific Rim. I, it already does. Like, when I say I hope they bring some of this stuff over into EDF 6, this, this is one of them. Maybe not the creature itself, but, like, this level of quality is so good. Same thing with, like, the heavy striker armor. It could fit in Monster Hunter. It's a little alien for Monster Hunter. Almost all Monster Hunter monsters actually do look like legitimate creatures-ish. And like, the Godzilla monsters in 4.1 and 5 looks kind of cool, but like, this is just so much cooler. Don't jump out of me like that! If we can't land a lethal blow, it'll be a war of attrition. That armory, hard to believe it's alive. Though I cannot say there's anything like it on this planet. Are you saying they're bringing in creatures from other planets and controlling them? Control? Eureka! Commander in chief, focus attacks on the green plasma emanating from the hive crowd. Right. That's what's controlling the mega giant creature? Conceivably, yeah. It's staggered. It's working. Can, can we do it? I got it. That thing does not have much health. It, it has begun moving. It is going to blast a lot of us? No. Hi. Okay. I'm not sure what his plan was, but it scares me. I'm pretty sure survival was not worked very well. It does look like it's really going for the Hivecraft, though. I actually don't know what it's doing right now. Oh. Are they taking it back? I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit that from here. Well, it's... A very good thing I got the heck out of there. Its energy output is off the scale. Even a graze and your toast. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna slowly go this way. Cause that's kind of further away. Still this is pretty rad. I like it a lot. Okay, you gonna bring that thingamadoo down? I guess I'll just have to shoot stuff for a bit. Ow. Well, I can hit it. Is, 
Burn, baby, burn. And I did hit the beam. It just didn't matter. Yeah. Where'd it go? I have no idea. I've got a sentry launcher, so I'm just gonna hopefully. I'm gonna hope that thing kills these guys for me. Is it leaving? Nope, it's coming back. Oh, good. But it's right freaking here. Hit the thing. Hit the thing. Unfortunately, this thing lacks the precision I'm necessarily looking for, but that's okay. I mean, it's hitting. Well, I guess I'll just keep hitting the hive ship. It looks like it's got a lot of shootable bits. It'd be really cool if actually damage that I dealt uh, Delta the thing would stick around from mission to mission. Ow. Probably should actually, uh... Probably do a green feeder. Ow. Yep. Good idea to do a green feeder. It's still shelling me from above. The dick. The... The armor plate on the back makes this armor look weird. Yeah, no, I'll grant that. It looks awesome from the front. I, I guess I just like the detail that they put in more than the actual design. Oh, God damn it. It's all the way over there. Oh, it's all the way over there. Now, admittedly, oh, shoot. The way up is over here. Uh, oh, it's all the way over here. Ugh. Attack the spear, releasing the green plasma. This is annoying as hell. Working on that. Unfortunately, I went down to be able to hit the thing. This would be easier if I had one hell of a sniper rifle, and I do not. Unless it just moved. Son of a... It just moved. Unless one of them hit it. How much... How much more do we got? Ah, oh, I just left. Well, I guess this design probably just kind of keep moving on ya. Uh, uh. There we go. Now, how many more, how many more, uh, hits do I have to do on the, uh, on the thing? Ow. Ow. Probably not too many. Is that it? Because, like, I was really hoping it would be one of those where, like, I destroy it one, uh, once and sort of just kind of, like, an odd amount of time that I, I don't know. The problem is I'm in this position where, like, I don't know how much HP it's got left. And so I guess I'm supposed to just keep doing this until either I die or the mission ends. Ow. Oh, something hit me. What do I do? Cause this guy's just gonna keep uh 
harassing us forever, kind of. I'll use my last green feeder. I don't even know where like half of them are. Oh, well, there's one. Because I'm not destroying it. Well, I'm destroying it every time and then it just comes back. It's like they have spare ammo in there. Well, it's okay. Last one if we're lucky. There we go. Well, I got it. I think I got it. It says complete. That's a good sign. Poser destroyed what seems to have been controlling it. Ah, splendid. It stopped moving. It's it. it's, it has begun moving. What the? What is happening? It's eating the hive craft. Or rather, it's feeding of the massive energy gem inside. Not even the Hivecraft can control it! Do not let up! Attack them while they're kicking each other down! Let's go, Marcus. Roger. Lightning 3, Fox 1, Fox 2. Don't hold back. Give them the full works. into the ocean. Signal lost. Did we do it? We did it! <laughs> we did it! Well, I feel proud of myself. I probably shouldn't have brought this rail gun along, but it was fun. Good work, Lightning. Did you see the size of that thing? <laughs> Drinks out on me tonight! Oh, Wait, what? You. Why am I over here? Why did you put me all the way over here? I I am confused. Is this a case where the first time a new kaiju was introduced it was killed? Oh, it's not dead. That thing is not dead. It's gonna pop out of the ocean. We'll have to fight it later. I was actually really hoping the uh, the hivecraft would crash on the ground and we'd be able to like fight inside of it or something, because that would be rad. Uh. I always really loved the uh, Covenant sh levels in Halo, when you you actually went into the uh, the Covenant ships, and like we're walking around exploring and fighting stuff. That was that was so cool. This is UNN Universal News Network on the battlegrounds. Three hours ago, an aggressor hive craft appeared near the shore of Area B forty two. However, EDF attacks succeeded in sinking it deep into the ocean and destroying it. A victory for the EDF and for all of humanity. At the same time, the giant objects known as pillars also disappeared, and aggressors are stopping in their tracks one after another. Once again, mankind has defeated the Hivecraft. Instead of our usual broadcast, over the next four hours, we will be retracing the EDF's legacy over the past 12 years. Sir, what are you doing listening to the radio? Let's get back and party it up! Come on! <sighs> yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so we got the Sky Roomba. Oh, okay, I gotta look at that at the very least. Let's put this Yo, one away for a second. For? So we also have several new of these that I should probably look at. Wow. 12,000 damage on that singular gun. Damn. One shot. Tons of damage, though. 
I'll have to try some of these. See if they're any good. It is the Ragnarok. You are very you are very correct on that one. We also have the puncher. But yeah, reload time five seconds. That's actually this isn't so bad. Comparatively. Sniper rifle. Hey, okay, so we've got this one. And a recharge ability. It's okay. But if one is, uh, if I remember right, one of these had aiming. Yeah. I really want to get my Pythagoras pie. It's 500,000. Actually, that's becoming within the realm of po possibility. Because it fires pretty fast and has, has homing. Homing assault rifle with a scope and really long range. Like, this, this should be rad. Okay, Fermi Finale. Got a lot of recharge weapons in this game, but I'm pretty down with recharge. Anyway, Sky Roomba. Anti-giant creature, super missile launcher. La giant missiles that disperse into astonishing 30. Flow into a single target. You can only lock onto one enemy at once. Reload time is kind of bad. Lockout time is four. So, probably not going to do the Sky Roomba, Roomba, but the idea of it is funny. The Monikia Rev doesn't seem terrible. Wouldn't be bad for uh, fighting, like, large groups. Same thing with this guy. I'm just curious about the auto-reload function. Probably one of those where I'd fire it and then leave. Let's see. Well, was I going to do anything with this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to switch away from my Archimedes. Or Archimedes, sorry. Uh, let's just go back to my, my usual grenade launcher. It's just too rad. Uh, but no, what I wanted to check... What I really cared about is clothing, upper body. Combat sweater. Now, hell yeah. This is new age tactical gear. <laughs> no one will know. Back to normal. Okay, so we want to do, we want to check this. This is mission 28, base of a tall yellow crane in the western board of the map. Okay, I think this is going to have to be the last mission I do for the night. I'd like to do more, but if dogs are going to wake me up in nine hours, then I should be in bed within the next half hour. Not really happy about that situation, but whatever. Let's see, how do swords do, uh, do in gameplay? They're okay, the problem is, like, you have to be up close, and they're kind of slow. Like, you can charge them up for a really cool move, and some of them would- are probably really bad. Uh, let's see, so we want to go to the complete opposite Base side. Destroy the giant creature's nest in this area. Roger that. Last team, let's go! It's very weak. There's nothing new from them. Don't you know? That mega giant creature- uh, I guess HQ calls it Razzmi. Like you, Mike. Cool it, you two. Focus on the mission. Yes, sir. I just have a big feeling about this. I really like this tile set. Like you know, I know people say that the desert tile set's kind of boring and whatever for a number of the missions. And they're right. At the same time, like I loved the rune I love the Rune City visual.
Ow. What even hit me? I don't know. Oh, I overloaded it. Okay. For the time being, let's switch to the flamethrower. I don't actually know if silver ants are resistant to energy throw damage. But they're not resistant to burning or stuns. So I'll gladly just go for them. Out of the battle area. I kind of miss the old invisible wall situation. It works kind of better than this. It still has invisible walls too, from what I remember. Although it's their mess, it's mere concrete. Our weapons can destroy it. Recharging energy. Stay focused. I keep hitting myself more than anybody else. Okay. Ow. The drone. It's on the western edge of the map. I've been making my way there this entire time. The problem is... I have to get through all of them. And their nests. To actually get what I, I want to need here. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, this is still going to be just slow. Gotta watch my shield here. Ugh. I gotta take out that building. If I can take out that building, then they stop shooting me from afar. Which is like, that's at least super useful. They also do have the uh, the benefit of dropping healing items for me, which I really like. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, do not want to run out of juice on this one. It's rough being popular, eh, closer? Is that it? Can I hit it? We did it! The net is crumbling down. Eliminate all enemies. Ow. Okay, I think we're I think we're doing fine, regardless of the situation. We've taken out the nest, so I don't have to deal with any more infinite ants. I'm not gonna find the yellow crane. Well, that was actually... <laughs> I opened my mouth to say, Oh yeah, I gotta go find the yellow crane. Oh, wait, no. It's freaking right here, actually. So where's this drone? It's somewhere around here. Okay, mission 28, back to normal. Base of E, tall yellow crane on the western board of the map. Unless I've somehow got my directions mixed up. This is exactly is melting off the gear's armor. That one. Well, good luck, guys. I killed the rest of the ants. You should be fine. Yeah, it's, it's this one over here. Recharging energy. Yes, sir. There we go. Nope. There's at least one more building in, in my way. Excuse me. Let's see. Do we have a drone at the base of this one? There it is. Wow, that is really freaking far away. <laughs> well, I already killed the nest. What is taking you guys so long? 
Like, I gotta ask this question, because, like... Where? Are they just fighting, like, a small handful of silver ants and that's it? Probably. Yeah, Sand Rune plus City is near Automodified. Yeah. Though, I will admit, I did not enjoy the, uh, the runes in Nier Automata. I think because Nier Automata had so many other inventive, interesting things. Maybe? It's like it was so far in the future and we had, like, a bunch of sci-fi stuff left and right. Like, oh, I see. I understand. So, uh, the reason the reason why I was unsatisfied with Nier Automata, to some lesser degree, is, like, that first boss was just this giant, like, it was this giant, like, industrial machine horror. And you, you, you kill it, and then, like, that's the only one of its kind, more or less. Like, okay, fine, you do actually fight some other ones. But yeah, so now that they're not yelling over me, Nier Automata is like first boss set a ridiculous standard for industrial punk uh, designs. That like, I feel like the rest of the game did not actually match very well. There were a couple of moments, like the bosses in general were the coolest design in the game, but like half of it was just like generic forest. Generic ruined cathedral? Poisonous gas detected. Evacuation recommended. Right. Ah! Everybody else died. Recommended. Gotta be wary. I got that one. Look at how they're all just backseat gaming me. How could do shit? Oh, come on. Yeah, there was one area that I really liked about Nier Automata, like, that was really cool, uh, just to go back to that topic, that, like, it was so cool and so, like, in interesting looking and creepy, and then you never went back. Because there was, there was that one area right before you killed the male, uh, machine. Uh, one of the two male machines when, um... When 9S had gotten kidnapped. And, like, it was this, like, creepy town. And everything was, like, white and, like, kind of generated from nanites or something like that. I, I'm I'm having trouble describing what it is. But, like... The military rations just aren't enough. Then why don't you try eating these guys? Nice and medium rare. Not even half funny. You know the rations are just moth larvae, right? Uh, I wish I hadn't heard that. Oh, shoot. I actually got a B rank there. Okay, so we got a PG Clown, Dark Sniper, Linked Energy Blaster, 
And some other stuff. Let's take a look at that Linked Energy Blaster. Uh, let's get rid of the... No, I like the Catalonia more than the Anger to some degree. Uh, what was it? Well, there's a Sonic Pile, which is just pretty basic. Penetrates through enemies. Pretty good, actually. And then there's the Sonic Pile Plus, which is like the same thing. Less shots, lower range, but like way more damage. Okay, so where's where's the... Axwell. Nothing. Okay, now we got a blaster gun. Where is the Sonic Pile? Or not the Sonic Pile. Oh, what's that? A reduced aim speed while firing. So it's a a fancier uh, minigun. Damage is pretty good. I just don't like minigun uh, miniguns because it's impossible to aim with them to some degree. Okay, so it's a sniper rifle. Oh yeah, there it is. So we got the dark sniper. Looks pretty decent. And then the linked energy blaster. This is the one. Cannot move while firing. Cannot reload. Ammo is really hot. Wow. Originally developed as a chest can to be used on the destroyer PA gear. Well, plans for the destroyer gear were scrapped. No! Sounds awesome. I'm really disappointed they didn't have, like, actually a huge list of PA gear you could pick up over the course of this game. Because I think it would actually be pretty rad if, uh, if you're, like, finding new things along the way that you can mess around with. So, the other thing I want to check. Items. And my item capacity still sucks. I want to take a look if there are any, like, fun vehicles I could add. But they require so much capacity. They seem like they're probably worth it, though. But, I don't know. I... I just... I am a tank man, so I just do tank, tank man things, I guess. 